In this lecture, we'll talk about the two important subspaces. They are the node space of a matrix and the span of a set of vectors. First, what is this node space of a matrix? So if you let a matrix A be an M by N matrix, then the node space of A denoted by N A is a set of all solutions to the homogeneous system AX equals to zero. So by these definitions, the node space of A contains all the vectors in R n such that A times X equals to zero. Well, if you given a matrix, how can you find the node space of a matrix? Let's look at this matrix A is a two by two matrix. And you wanna find what is an A, right? What is the node space of A? And by the definitions, in order to find the node space of A, you wanna put A into a homogeneous system, AX equals zero, and then you solve for the solutions for this homogeneous system. And we learn that how, we learn how to solve for the system. We put the system into an augmented matrix. And then we reduce this, right, until we can solve for it. So the first step is I want to take R1 divided by 2, say 1, 1 half, 0, 3, 2, 0. And the second step I want to do is I want to make this equal to 0. So R2 is the same as R2 minus 3 R1, which will give me 1, still 1 half, right, and 0. And 2 minus 3 over 2 would give me 4 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 half. And this is 0, 0. And maybe the next step is I want to multiply this by so then I will have one one half and zero one zero zero okay at this point because I just need to solve for the solution I don't have to reduce this to the uh, REF so at this point I know that x2 equals to zero x1 plus one half x2 equals to zero, that means x1 is also zero and x2 is zero. So the solution will be vectors x equals to zero, zero. So the vector zero, zero is the solutions of this homogeneous system. That means the node space of A is a subspace, right? And it's just a space that contains the vector zero. So the no space is zero. So zero is the only solutions for which A times X will be equals to zero. Now, we can talk about the span. The second important subspace is a span of a set of vectors. So by the definitions, if you have a set of vectors in a vector space, let's say V1, V2 to Vn is a set of vectors in vector space V. Then we know that if we have uh, alpha one, alpha two to alpha n are scalars, right? Or real values then the combinations of alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus alpha n vn is called a linear combinations of the set of vectors here. Okay. Well, this is one linear combinations. If you have one value for alpha 1, alpha 2 to alpha n, since alpha um, can be any values, then we can find a set of all linear combinations of V1, V2 to Vn. 
if you can combine all the linear combinations of this set, this set of vectors we want to be n, then that combination is a span of v1, v2 to vn. And the span of v1, v2 to vn is denoted using span and then v1, v2 to vn. Again, the span of v1, v2 to vn is a set of all linear combinations of v1, v2 to vn. All right. Well, let's look at an example here. So I have a matrix. This is three by three matrix. My goal is I want to determine the no space of this matrix. And then after that, I need to rewrite the no space of B in terms of the span of a set of vectors. Okay, let's try that. So I have matrix A, uh, matrix B at this point is B equals to, uh, and remember in order to find the no space, you need to find the solutions to the homogeneous system AX equals to B, right? And we're just transforming this into an augmented matrix that representing this system, homogeneous system. All right, now my next step is again, I just wanna reduce it so that I can solve for the system. So the first row is a pivot row at the moment. Uh, the second row, I would take R2, the same as R2 minus two R1, right? And the third row, I would take R3 is the same as R3 plus three R1. Well, then the new row two will be two minus two is zero, six minus six is zero, negative a minus plus a is zero. Row three will be negative three plus three is zero. Oh, this is negative one, sorry. Negative one. So it's just add to row one. All right. So negative one plus one is zero. Negative three plus three is zero. Four plus negative four is also zero. And I still have a zero, zero on this side. All right. Well, at this point, I only have one row left. Then I can start writing out the solutions. So remember, um, this is the pivot row. So this is the lead variable. And so that means x2 and x3 are free variables. So x3 is free, so I call it alpha. x4, x2 is free, so I also call it uh, using a different letter, beta. Okay. And then x1 equals to 4x2 4x3 minus 3x2. Okay, from this system here. And then from here, my solution will be. Um, x equals to 4 x3 alpha minus 3 beta and then x2 will be beta x, x3 will be alpha so this is the general uh, solutions where alpha and beta can be any value in r okay well from here so this is my no space because it's a solutions to the system. So I know that this is my no space, but my next task is rewrite this no space in terms of the span of a set of vectors. How can, how can I do that? Well, one thing I can do is I will look at this space here and I have alpha and beta are the two free variables, right? So that means this vectors here is a combination of the two vectors. And I said x equals to, now it's just the no space of a equals to, I know that I have alpha 
and then I have beta here. I am, I want to separate, I want to split this vector into two different vectors, into linear combinations of two vectors. Well, then that should be what should be here on the alpha and what should be here on the beta. So I look at the first entry. I have four alpha, so I put four here. I have negative three beta, so I have negative three here. On the second entry, I have one beta, so that means I don't have any alpha, so I put zero here and beta is one. On the third entry, I have one alpha, so that means I have one here and I have no beta, so I put zero here. So as you can see that I already split this big vector into linear combinations of the two vectors. Again, alpha and beta is still in R. Okay. At, at this point, the no space which contains all the vectors in this form. is in the form of linear combinations of the two vectors, four, zero, one, negative three, one, zero. And then I can rewrite the no space in terms of sin alpha and beta, or it can be any values in R. So then the no space is a linear combination of the two vectors and it contains all the linear combinations of these two vectors because alpha and beta can be any real values. So I would put span of what vector? Four, zero, one, and the vector negative three, one, zero. So this is my no space, but in terms of the span of the two vectors in R3. Okay, I found my no space using the homogeneous system. And from the no space, this terms, this the notations of the no space, I can split it into two different factors as a linear combinations. And then once I have linear, all the linear combination of these two vectors, I can put it in the form of the span of the two vectors in R3 as a no space. All right. So, how can we visualize this span? How can we visualize this no space of A? I keep calling it A, but it should be B, right? This is a B. You want to keep your notation consistent so then people know what you're talking about. The no space of B. How can I visualize the no space of B? using these two vectors here, using the idea of the span of these two vectors. Let's look at the graph. So the first vector, this is the first vector, four, zero, one. And this is the second vector, negative three, one, and zero. And you can see that it's, it's clearly this is two vectors here, right? on the uh, positive point is here. And then I found, um, and the, the span of these two vectors is actually a plane in R3 that contains these two vectors. So the red plane here is a plane in R3 that contains these two vectors. And this plane here is actually the span of the two vectors. And from what we found, the span of the two vectors is the no space of the matrix B. You can see that this plane contains these two vectors. And from what we learn that this, from what we learn that this, this span, is actually, this plane here is actually the no space of V, of the matrix P. Yeah, 
is the span of the two vectors, and this is the no space of the matrix C. All right. So here we go. I just introduces the two important subspaces. First is the no space of A uh, of a matrix in Rn, and second, um, the span of a set of vectors. So in order to find the no space, you find the solutions of the homogeneous system. In order to find, um, in order to, de to describe a span of a set of vectors, you need to, of a subspace, you need to put that subspace into uh, a linear combinations, a form of linear combinations of a set of vectors. And if the no space, if the subspace contains all the linear combination of a set of vectors, then the no space can be described using the span of the two vectors here. 